it is Manchester United nil, Bournemouth free, Manchester United getting destroyed by Bournemouth, absolutely embarrassed by Bournemouth to the extent that they were booed at half time, booed at full time, saying that we're fucking shit, booing the managers, booing the players. It has been an absolute embarrassment for to Manchester United today. And the fans, I feel sorry for you guys and I feel sorry for myself because we had to stand up, sit back, all attend the match and watch this absolute bullshit of a match. Bullshit of a display from these players. These players, they make me sick. They've been making me sick. And the manager as well, <laughs> you're in trouble. The manager's got a lot to answer, a lot to just you know, highlight because these mans let us down after a performance against Chelsea. Today, they have let us down against Bournemouth. What an absolute car crash from Manchester United today. Overall, uh, I'm so let down. I'm just tired of the inconsistencies of these players. Inconsistent at being consistent. That's what they are. Manchester United, that's what they are. Overall, United, when they started off the, f the first half, we started off well at times, you know, but as well was open in the midfield, which led to that goal that we conceded in the first half. And that goal came from Dominic Solanke himself. Matching that wide open on the right hand, I mean, on the left hand side of Sergio Regulon's side, across coming in. And of course, Dominic Solanke with the goal. Simple, beautiful goal, flick on going over the ball and flicking it on and Andre Onana getting beaten so easily as always. Onana, I don't know what to say, man. Just goals being conceded left, right and centre. Half time, it was Manchester United nil, Bournemouth 1 and you'll think these players will be governed. So go into that second half and show us that they mean business. These men, they never let, showed us that they mean business. They showed us that they were just shit. Another goal in that second of coming, but we went, we just went downhill from there. That second goal coming from Billings, costing us the absolute bill, making it 2-0 for Bournemouth with a lovely header. Beating, again, Andre Onana so easily, you know. Andre Onana in goal just looks like an absolute div. Absolute div, absolute twat at all the time. Beating so damn easy. It sickens me with these Manchester United players. And 3 0 came again. Another header. So let's say with the header against our goalkeeper again. And it, it was just. It hurt. It made me absolute sick to my stomach to see Manchester United get being 3 0. And if it wasn't for that VAR decision outside goal, it would have been 4 0 for Bournemouth. And it's just definitely was curtains from there. Manchester United players letting us down again full time. Manchester United nil, Bournemouth free. These players, again, I keep saying that they're just not good enough. You know the way Manchester United play, and you know what's so good at times in phases of games, the only positive is that we look dangerous. But it was the final third decision making that let us down once again. To just inconsistent making that final third decision. This team, I don't know whoever comes in, nothing will change ownership needs to change first before we can see things trickle down to the pitch and the manager it has been an absolute poor performance for Manchester United poor display you know we look at players today we look at Bruno Fernandes who got a deliberate yellow card in my opinion you know doing what he does best moaning to the referee and the referee said to you you know what I've had enough of you moaning and complaining and whining yellow card which resulted in Bruno Fernandes Going to miss that Liverpool game. And you know what? It might be a blessing in disguise for us. As well, Anthony tried, but he was not good enough. Including Martial, which was my donkey of the match. And I'll be telling you that. Maguire as well, costing us a goal. Ganache on be not being effective at all. Man of the match today, nobody. But donkey of the match goes to Anthony Martial and the rest of the team. But Anthony Martial in particular, because he was... He didn't try. He didn't do anything. What what really did he get? What what did he do? What did Martial do? Nothing but just be himself and that himself being ineffective in games. And again, I don't want to see him start. I just don't want to be seeing him playing at all. Manchester United fans, strap yourself up for a week that's going to be uphill. 
Bayern Munich and Liverpool coming up next. We ain't going to win anything. We're just going to be crying by the end of next week. But anyway, guys, this has been your match direction from your boy, Iberian Spice. Let me know who your man in the match is and your donkey in the match and your thoughts in the comments below. <sighs> because it is what it is. We just, we just shit. We're not good enough. We're inconsistent. It's nothing ever going to change until short chops, stairs change. I'm waiting for this Sir Jim Ratcliffe to come through and make these changes and see what happens so I can blame him too. You know, let the cycle continue again. It is what it is, guys. As always, we are back live Monday, 8 p.m. to catch up with the bandom to review this and dissect it, and including other Manchester United news. Till next time, guys. Remember to keep it united. And definitely remember to keep it ready now because this team is shit. Peace, and I'm out. Boom.